race, y'all. Off the Euro step, straight to the net, ball to collect. Never misguided, this step remain incorrect. I feel I buried all of my competition in sets. The only reason I'm addressing them is to pay my respects. All right, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So, we're looking to make a trade today, and I've done a lot of looking around on ways that we can get Dwight Howard because you guys have talked to me about getting Dwight Howard, and um, you guys have said that you would love to see that. And he's one of the players who is right now on a team that uh, we are um, that none of us are using, so it should be easier to get him. Now, I'm not sure I would want to do this trade. I think we'd be giving up a little bit too much for Dwight, where I guess it would be a pretty even deal, but I want to be able to get a good advantage here. And um, that being said, I think if you look, Dwight Howard has about a value of three stars, which I, you can't go completely by stars, but I like to use that as a basis before I go into a trade to consider if this is going to be even a somewhat decent trade. Now, I've been looking around, and the young players have a ton of value. And one of those young players, of course, being Jaleel Okafor. Now, if you look through some of the trade offers I get, you're thinking, oh my god, take some of these. The problem is, most of these offers are from teams that are uh, controlled by a user, so I can't take them. This would be one of the deals I could take, no way. Um, and this could be one of the trades that I could take. That one's maybe a little more reasonable. Um, and I think that's like it for these ones. And this one I could take if I wanted to, but again, I don't think I would take that one. Um, anyway, that being said, I think that, let's go back into the Jaleel Okafor for a minute so I can show you guys what I was thinking. Um, I was thinking that Jaleel Okafor does have a lot of value. Could we maybe get a trade going, Jaleel Okafor, I know how crazy this is, for Dwight Howard. Now, Dwight's a little bit older, but salaries don't matter in this league, so we don't have to take that into account. And this is all about who I play with best, because I'm only going to be playing in, in the games I play against humans in. So, I really got to take the guys I can do the best with and thrive as much as I can in the first season. Um, so, let's see. I don't think they're going to take this trade straight up. And, uh, no, yeah, they're, they're not feeling that. They're not feeling like bringing in youth and... Um, you know what, it was, it was an idea, I thought, may as well, but one trade, when I was looking at the trade fires earlier, I'm not sure if we're going to get it again, was they were offering Blake Griffin in an offer for Julio Okafor, and I'd love to bring him back. We've already got the reunion on the way, and we can continue the reunion right here. We would have to give up both Zach Randolph and Julio Okafor, so you see a little bit tentative, but we do have Alex Len, and that makes me a little bit more um, willing to take this offer, because I think we are giving two great players getting Blake Griffin out of this and that just solidifies our power forward spot and we can look to get another center so I'm going to take this deal um and so this is what the lineup's looking like right now we brought Blake Griffin in and I'm actually really excited about that trade because I think Blake's going to add some more explosiveness to this lineup and this is looking a lot like that Warriors franchise look at that man wow and Alex Lyman, we're bringing that whole warrior team. This is like basically a TGTV reunion in here. But um, we'll quickly go into the coaching plan and we gotta give Blake those minutes, obviously. And at center, we're looking a little bit weak right now. And uh, give Baines some more minutes. Maybe give him, give him like 12. And we got some room to spread out some more of these minutes. So uh, let's get let's get Aaron Brooks. A little more involved into this lineup. We don't need a ton of minutes going to the point guards, though. So, um, Kasipi can get some more minutes and may as well spread some more around the starting lineup. Now, I'm thinking, I guess I'll keep KCP there and maybe move Booker up in the rotation a little bit. Uh, so, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this trade video. Please make sure to leave down below how you felt about it. And uh, who would you guys like to see me play first? I can play whoever I want. Uh, honestly, I can play whoever I want, whenever I want. Um, tell me down below which YouTuber should I take on next. So, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, peace. I'm out.